Hey Rifters, Cymatic Bruce here uh, with another video. I want to put another one up before too much time passed. Um, so here we go. Uh, Hawken, get it working. Uh, so the first thing you have to do is go into the uh, file location where Hawken is installed. Uh, you want to check out two different locations. Uh, the first location is the engine slash config. Um, so the config folder within the engine folder and then you're going to want to pay attention to base engine.ini and the other place is in uh, a similar place but instead of engine in Hawken game and the config folder inside of that and then you see default engine.ini um, so you want to open those I have them open in notepad plus plus already so in base engine.ini there is a section that says engine.stereo3d and right after it is a section that says engine.oculus um, so with this the engine.oculus stuff is pretty much cool um, because the head tracking was already working uh, and what you want to do is change the engine.stereo3d stuff to true so I have uh, be enabled to true actually set override FOV to true and that's uh, pretty good uh, visibility test both views I'm not sure what that does yet I haven't tested but I set that to true anyway um, the override recenter I set to true and that makes sure that when the game starts you're always facing the center of the mech um, when I turn it off like I'm facing this way but I'm like looking to the left of the cockpit it's weird uh, so when you put this to true that works well the override 2D I put to false or left false. Um, well, I tried true, and then the 2D menus do are double, and you can't see them. Uh, so if you leave it false, then the 2D menus are actually in a proper place, and they line up in each eye. So uh, you're able to see the 2D menus that are in the center of the screen, which is nice. From or frustum offset, I haven't messed with yet. Um, so I'll be, you know, testing some of these. Uh, the thing I've been mainly playing with is some of the true false values of some of these and the eye position in head. I've been messing around with this. This is actually the default values that are here. Um, the X 12.6, Y 0, C 7. Um, and so there we go. Uh, in default engine, it's very similar. They have an engine.stereo 3D and an engine.oculus. Um, again, I changed pretty much everything to true except for override 2D, um, and I've been playing around with the eye position in the head. I believe these are the default values I started with. Um, I think I changed Z just a little bit. It was 5. I think I changed it to 7. Um, but I've been playing around with these values, and I've got some very strange results, um, which I'll kind of uh, explain a little bit and share. Um, one thing I did as well to make sure that the game doesn't go back and overwrite anything I've done uh, I went ahead and for each file I go to its properties and I select the read only option of course to edit it you'll have to go back and undo read only um, but I've done that just to make sure that the game can't overwrite um, it may or may not be necessary uh, but uh, with Unreal I know that uh, uh, you know if there's sometimes there's changes that a, a game can overwrite like uh, what what is put into these uh, INI files um, so yeah so I made sure that the game can't touch it cool so you go through all of that uh, you start up Hawken it launches up uh, the initial uh, splash movies or whatever are just as they are they're not in 3D or anything like that oh, shit. All right, excellent. And um, it's going to start up. Uh, one thing you want to do when it loads is uh, you want to make sure you're still facing forward because whatever direction you're facing is the direction that's going to choose as center for you. All right, for anyone that wants me to play me in Hawken, my uh, handle is Cymatic. <laughs> uh, so I've been playing this for a while since Alpha, um, here and there when I have time. Right. So as it gets past this, there we go. And I have, you know, head tracking, and you notice that the 2D menu is shifted, and I'm able to see the bottom right corner of that 2D menu very, very clearly. 
without a problem. Uh, so that is freaking awesome. Let's see here. So I need to turn the volume down. There we go. Excellent. So I don't have the music blasting here. Perfect. All right. And uh, also I've done. I've I've I haven't messed with the game controls. I think it reset since this latest update. I don't have the controls I like, but that's okay. Uh, they're really, really small. I can hardly read them. Um, but let's see. Uh, it's a little too high. Like I can, it's still the text is too small for me to read. I can barely make out what's there, and that's because I'm I'm a little bit familiar with uh, what some of that stuff is already. Um, but yeah, so obviously, you know, the menus, text size, and all that stuff hasn't been worked out. Um, you know, I'm just kind of forcing it. So here we go. I'm just going to go to play. I'm going to play the uh, training mission here. And there we go. So again, here we go. We got the, um, the mic going on. Uh, you do have to kind of refocus between the cockpit and outside the cockpit. Um, like there's kind of a major, major difference here. So it might be a convergence issue or, or something else going on. Um, but it's uh, you know it's, it's comfortable for me, and I've um, you know toyed with the different IPD values that are set there in the INI files, and uh, you know mine has to be happens to be around 64.8 or 65 millimeters. Um, so this is kind of right up my alley. Um, one of the strange things I noticed when I was messing with the uh, position in head direction or um, attribute was as you rotate your mech your position in the in, in the mech changes like you see how I'm getting closer and farther away from the uh, from the console here and um, as you mess with the uh, the default numbers this only gets worse like I've had it where I've actually as I turn my mech I rotate I rotate outside of the cockpit which is crazy um, or I've been offset to the left or right of the mech and I rotate I seem to rotate around a spot there so it's really strange um, so yeah I haven't really find the, found the right combination of numbers that just puts me a little bit closer to the uh, to the control panel because at certain times I do seem like I'm really far back in the cockpit um, when I'm facing certain directions but with this head, head neck model they have here I can lean my head down uh, and I can kinda see the life I can see that it's 709 so that's neat um, cool so hey able to to move around I look around while the mech's going its direction um, I've got boost I've got flying and boy does this feel crazy um, there's a, a great sense of just floating wow um, yeah so flying in Hawking is definitely beast definitely cool um, again uh, I can probably understand why uh, Meteor and adhesive still haven't released this oculus version because there's still some some things that have to be worked out um, you know this has to feel right like right now everything feels a little bit scrunched up in the uh, in the cockpit um, also I can look to my right and see that the gun is just floating in the air over there um, as opposed to this one which seems to be attached to an arm at least which is good um, and uh, I definitely like to be able to read the cockpit data from from where I am here and not have to lean down into it because that's something you want to be able to glance down with your eyes and see right away um, I have no idea. I think there's some drift going on here too. I feel like I'm not straight ahead anymore. Um, weird. Anyway. So boom, 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 boom. So I'm, uh, I don't even know where this is. I'm just kind of cruising, not following the training routine. Um, but yeah, so that is... 
Hawken. Um, I did try to go online. I'll show you all that. Um, actually, let me. That's cool that I could read that. Um, so I can actually see my stats. Uh, let's see if I can get out of here. Whoa. So if I do that, I can uh, actually you know check the stats of my game, which is nice. Um, so I did go online, and uh, unfortunately my HUD was was like gone. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see here, and leave this match. Yes. Everything is just so small. Alright, so I'm going to give that a little bit of a shot real quick. Let's see what we got here. Come on, you can do it. Sync the account. Alright. Okay. Just pressing some buttons. Okay, here, what we want to do, we want to just go ahead and play. Um, I want to go and do a quick match, team deathmatch. Uh, everything else is, is grayed out. Oh, it's like I, I haven't played Hawking in a while, so there's some things that are that are new even to me. I'm not sure. Um, I've been holding off on it to wait for the Rift patch before I jump back in. <laughs> so, uh, let's see if it's gonna find me some players and see what it looks like this time around with the 2D um, option at false. I'm not sure if that's gonna make any difference. Uh, there's also another option, HUD depth. Um, let's see, that's weird. Oh, what the hell? Oh, this must be because another match just ended or something like that. Um, the HUD depth, which is set at 3000, I think that's like the depth of uh, the 2D items, um, so I'm not sure if that will actually affect what I'm going on. Uh, just like I'm slightly offset still, like I should be looking here when I'm facing this way. Anyway, um, so I don't have a launch button yet. It's probably coming down. Do this. Launch. Nice. Alright, so now I have to face all the way this way. I have no HUD values, everything is blank. Um, I don't know if this is normal at the start of Team DM. Also, like, there's some weapon problems. Like, I can't, like, I can jump, I can dash, I press the left trigger, and I get this. I press the right trigger, I, like, I'm something's up like there's some stuff that is just not right so let me switch to mouse and keyboard and see so I've got my hologram that works so I do the mouse and I'm hearing the sound um, nice and I you know I generate a turret But I get nothing. I can't zoom in. Like with the uh I don't even know what happened here. What the hell is that? I press the what the hell did what the hell happened here? There we go. Alright, and uh can I press can I at least Ah, damn it. There we go. Oh, we're praying and I died. So, bam, I was killed. And weird item now. So, here we go. So, that was strange. Um, HUD missing. Um, I was able to go out and do the repair, which is cool. Um, you know, the AGD should have been active because I was able to, you know, activate my hologram, activate my turret. Um, but, you know, evidently there's a lot of effects that aren't done yet um, uh, for that inside the cockpit view. So they're still, you know, working on that. So everything hasn't been implemented yet. 
um, it's still a work in progress um, so yeah um, that's kind of the the hawk and rundown uh, I mean the training experience is cool you can definitely get a feel for it and check out what it might be um, but it's still not gonna be very playable online unless you're just ready to go at it and not care about seeing your health or what item you're about to drop or anything like that um, so you won't be able to keep track of a lot of the data that you need to uh, be the most effective player but you can probably still run around and have fun um, I'm gonna adjust my controls and probably play a few games online anyway just to do it um, so that should be pretty cool alright uh, so that's the rundown for Hawken uh, I'm going to eagerly await uh, Meteor and Adhesive's uh, work on this to get the patch out, and in the meantime, I'm probably going to toy around with it and see if I can get uh, something a little more uh, comfortable, a little more playable. Until the next VR experiment.